All right, so what is going on everyone? Swan here and today we're actually back on some MLB The Show and we're on this same Battle Royale run that we were on in the last video and we are doing really well. We're 8 and 0. Oh, so that's huge. And uh, as you can tell, Mookie Betts is our 9 win reward. So this will be a huge game. Uh, I don't know if I've ever gotten Mookie because I don't think I would have sold him. I, de I, I feel like I would have still had him if I actually had gotten him. So I think he's worth like 80k or something. He's worth, he's a, he's a pretty expensive uh, live series player. So if I got, if I get him, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I'll probably end up keeping him. Um, but he is, yeah, he's a pretty expensive player and, and he's pretty dope. So anyways, uh, I'd love to win this next game and, uh, advance on to, Getting the 12 win, 12 and 0 win reward. I I don't know. I want to get that Johnny Bench card. Try it out, maybe. There's a lot of cards that I want to get out of the 12 and 0 uh, players. But anyways, let's find a game real quick right here, and let's see if we can win and um, hopefully get Mookie. So anyways, let's find a player. It's been taking a while to find a player recently because uh, there's less people online. Um, especially since it's like the middle of the day on a school day, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to find someone super quick here, but anyways, let's see what we can do. Alright, well, we actually ended up finding someone on our first round of, uh, searching, so that's pretty solid, and as, as you can tell, we still got David Peralta at leadoff. I, I've been getting, like, basically a righty pitcher every time, which is huge. Uh, Adrian Beltre, William Covey, um... I've been hitting crazy with this William McCovey card. I've been hitting terrible with Beltre. Beltre hasn't done anything for me, so he wasn't really the best pick. Uh, too low. I've always played well with too low, especially hitting wise, which is kind of crazy. But his fielding is fantastic. Been playing all right with Hicks and Carew. Uh, Pina, I play pretty well with. I've been playing well with Saunders. So overall, it's a pretty good lineup, and I'm pretty sure I have like over a 600 average with. Um, with the David Peralta card, which is pretty crazy, but it looks like we got the away team. We are at the Cuba Industriales team. I don't even know. We're at their stadium, whichever they're playing at, and it looks like he's, he has Tony Gwynn at leadoff, David Wright second, Orlando Cepeda 97 overall in the third in the three hole, and then um, Jose Batista at cleanup. So. He's got a decently powerful team. He's got a pretty powerful team. It looks like we're playing the Ori or at the Orioles Park, and uh, let's just see if we can hold him to uh, no runs. And this is a bright stadium. It is bright out here, so we're gonna put in Grilly and Price, both ERAs under uh, two. So, oh yeah, I have a 538 average with David Peralta. So let's see what he gives me. I swear every time I get an inside fastball that I don't like for the first pitch. But let's see what he gives me the second pitch. Change up outside. Um, oh my gosh, my cat is just meowing so loud. Uh, but anyways, he's going to throw two and one. I swear, I, you, I get walked quite a bit um, in Battle Royale. And David Peralta drills it and it's going to be a single. Actually, David Peralta, I don't think has any walks because he has a five. He has the same uh, on-base percentage as his uh, average. But uh, now we got Beltre up, and let's see if we can uh, drive him in early and get get the get an early lead. I would love an early lead with this. Come on, I really want to go nine and zero at least. So Beltre hits it high, and the wind is blowing a little bit to the left. But that's not gonna that's not gonna be deep enough. I just got a little bit under it. I'm hitting like a hundred like I have like a 140, 150 batting average with Beltre. It's terrible. 477 average with McCovey. Uh, and an eight something eight is that say eight ninety-five slugging percentage? That's pretty crazy. So let's see if we can hit a nice little gap or maybe score the runner from first and uh, get down. And that's not going to get down. I drilled that. That's probably going to be like 105 off the bat. 110. Let's see what it says because I was hit really hard. Oh, well, uh, 108 right in between what I said. But now we got two low up, 355 batting average with him. He throws a nice curveball in there but does not get the call. Uh, and he's going to do the same thing and he got it that time. I wasn't really expecting him to double up on that. Uh, and he did it again, and I got onto that, but I hit it straight away to center field to, I think, Tony Gwynn in center field. So, uh, let's see what we can do. Not a great start, 
but let's start him with that high curveball. High little 12-6. Pretty good pitch right there. But I'm not gonna double up on that. I don't wanna I don't wanna risk that. But it this is gonna be a key out. He's gonna get the speed on the bases if he gets that, and he does. Tony Gwynn, 91 speed. I don't think he has the best stealing stats, but um, that's not a good start. So we're going to toss in. We got a bunch of righties coming up, so we're going to toss in Grilly and see what we can do. Let's go a little slider. He's got 51 speed, and it uh, looks like he was trying to steal, so let's try and prevent him from stealing. And we would have had him, but um, he whiffed and he went back so uh, let's see what he does now and there's another nice slider and we got him out in front but not enough we're gonna throw actually a fastball now see if we actually get him and we're we're totally gonna get him and he's okay uh, this has got me nervous uh, okay we got him there we go perfect huge out right there I needed him off the base path now we're gonna throw a nice little change up down there perfect pitch and we got David Wright to go down swinging. Now we gotta get Cepeda out. We need to get this out. This is key because then maybe we can keep him from getting to the top of the lineup again. So let's go slider. Not the best pitch right there, but uh, we did happen to get him. Let's go a little inside fastball. Nice pitch right there, 95 miles an hour. Too late on that. And we're gonna try and get him with the high heat. And we almost get him. We. Uh, we just, uh, I don't know, we had good placement right there. He's got 99 power versus lefty. He's going to concede. Dang, I should have accepted. He quit. I'll take it. Uh, I, I guess he had to go somewhere. But I'm going to take that win. I, 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 I take free wins like that. I like to because why not? I mean, it's just helping me get my reward so I got my I got my Mookie Betts 9 win reward so let's see um who my 12 win reward is I don't know so uh yeah I'll take it uh come on give me someone good give me someone good I got Mookie and we got Clayton Kershaw as the 12 win reward okay that's a solid one there's a lot of crappy ones that you can get that are like 95 overall like nothing special but we got Kershaw at the 12 win, so that would be huge. I already have Kershaw, I already do, but um, uh, this is something special, so that's very nice. And now we got Mookie bets. I'm actually going to check. I haven't checked in a while how much Mookie is actually worth and how much Kershaw worth is recently worth recently. I haven't checked, um, so... Uh, hold on, let me check. Uh, Jeff Bagwell, look, there's 20 people. I still have the Bagwell card, and there's 20 people trying to get him for 500k, and there's 33 trying to get Bryce Harper, and then there's the Johnny Bench card, which is looking like it's selling for maxed out price. No one's trying to buy him for that, but um, that's pretty cool. But hold on, where is Kershaw? Kershaw is still worth 100. A quick sell, just an easy sell now of... 165k so and he's like people have buy orders out for or they're trying to sell him for 191 so i could sell him instantly for 165 or try and get a little bit more for around 190 which is probably not going to work out but uh that's huge and now let's go here let's set this to live series players and let's see he's he is on the front page um, Mookie Betts, wow, he's not worth anything anymore. I thought he was, okay, he got a downgrade, I think. Uh, I think his, his stats used to be, from what I remember, better versus righties. Um, not, not, I'm not saying like better than his stats versus lefties, but it I thought they were better than this. More all around and less splits, even though that's not much of a split. But, um, okay, well then we really gotta get Kershaw if we wanna make this uh, Battle Royale run pretty big and we got Chris Bryant is moved up to 130k or a sell now of 108k So that's pretty nice, but uh, I would love to okay This is what I would do if I get Kershaw I'm gonna instantly sell him and just buy it straight up buy out Kenley Jansen because I really want Kenley Jansen super badly So that would be huge uh, still don't have Mike Trout yet, understandable, I mean, he's, he's always constantly just worth so much money, and no one's ever selling him, so that's a little bit annoying, but, uh, it's not that I would actually buy him for that much, but, uh, 
live series Bryce Harper would have been nice to see in that reward. Um, uh, yeah, Chris Bryant would be nice. Noah Syndergaard's always been a lot. And then there's just like a couple people here worth like a, a Roldis Chapman and uh, Corey Seager, Josh Donaldson. But those are like the only decently expensive ones. Stanton's, Stanton's actually 40 something K, so that's pretty awesome. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe here if you are new. And let me know if you want to see uh, more of this Battle Royale run. If I get to 12 or 11 and 0. If I even get to the 12, 12 win game, I'm definitely going to record it and upload it. So, um, yeah, regardless if I win or lose, because I like to show losses too. Um, but, yeah, I rarely ever trash a video if I just, like, lose uh, because, I mean, I figure I might as well just show the losses, too, to make it, like, seem like I actually lose, because I do lose. Um, but, uh, I do actually happen, especially when recording, I, ha I usually win a lot more. But, anyways, uh, that's gonna be it for me today. So, as always, I hope you're all having a nice day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.